So I just want to use Stylus RMX inside of Studio One. So there I am dropping the uh, plugin onto a track, it opens it up. Now I'm just going to use three tracks here. I'm just going to show you how to use multi outputs and wire it all up. So let's just get some sort of beat going. Let's get the elements going, some kicks. Yeah, that'll do. Let's layer something up. Um, Collapse. Okay, so just show you what's going on. Stylus is now set up, so it's got A, A, and A as the outputs. So that's all just going out on one. But what happens if I want to mix those elements up in order to make some sort of drum drum group or uh, drum drum element uh, to a track? So I want to arrange them. So what I need to do is set it up as a multiple output instrument. So there's only one inst instance of stylus, but there's several outputs going. Now you can see that it can do that because we've got loads of different outputs, eight. So we need to tell it to do it in Studio One. So because I've put the plugin just there, this loads in the instrument rack just here, a bit like in Cubase, it's got a rack, and I can expand this. So any instrument that I put in Studio One will be laid up here. So I'm gonna expand it, and you can see all the outputs. We've got A, B, C, and they correspond to the different A, B, and C, so I just need to turn those on. Okay, so there's the volume channels, I can process on those as well. Um, but now what I need to do is get the MIDI from each of the individual elements onto the tracks. So drag, there we go, there's one, element two, drag that over, what's that? And then three, drag that over there. Looks like I need to duplicate that one. Now I also need to tell Studio One to, where to look. So each track, so it knows where it's directed to. So, channel one, channel two, stylus, channel three. So I'm gonna press play, might be a little bit loud, so uh, just bring this down a little bit. And we'll see what it does, let's watch the mixer. So to explain, this track that I'm highlighting now is playing this number one stylus. This track is playing number two. This track is playing number three. And these are the volume routines that I can do here. And these volumes are then going out the master. So I've got some basic ability to arrange the track. So let me duplicate this. I'm just gonna do some sort of basic arrangement um, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's chop that down. Let's look for a file. Um, let's have a look. look for a base. Let's play. That'll do. So I'm just going to drop this on. Duplicate it. Okay. Just gonna make the loop a bit bigger. Duplicate, duplicate. Select and drag. Select and drag. So even though I've got multiple tracks, I've got one audio track, one instance of stylus playing, even though I've got four tracks. So let's listen to it from the beginning. So the benefit of doing this way, it can save processing power. I can use the individual tracks in order to put plugins on to process it. 
sends and whatnot and it allows me to arrange the MIDI elements in order to make variations in the track so I hope that helps <laughs> 